Hello, everyone. I am Dr. Eric Morrison. This is 7 out of 3, and I'll be covering trading education, more specifically Forex swing trading, using the TC2000 platform. Hello, everyone. This is the speed run for the 21 Forex currencies on 7 June at 11 p.m. Central Time. And we're going to go ahead and get started here, but there was a delay in printing off the candles last night. So went ahead and going to post the speed run this morning. Now, what we have here is a potential opportunity for a buy if you so choose to do this for, according to the plan. But currently, we're in the summer. Well, the seasons are up. The Haikanashi is up. So we can place a long position at this particular candle with the Z3 as the target, even though the Z3 is so close to the edge of the weekly high. Just make sure that in terms of risk to reward that your, your stop is located at the bottom of the Heikinashi. This gives us a good risk to reward at this point with our, our risk with this range of this candle and the potential reward at the Z3. Aussie Dollar Swiss Franc, same thing. We have a, we're in the spring season. Heikinashi on the weekly is long. Long. Now we can again place our long position here or keep it at the weekly and then move our potential stop, change our stop to the bottom of the Heikinashi on this candle. Aussie dollar Japanese yen, I'm in this trade. Move the stop to the bottom of the Heikinashi. We're in the summer season on the daily. Aussie dollar New Zealand dollar, we're in this trade. Move the stop down to the high of the Heikinashi. We have a turn of the season going down with the weekly Heikinashi being red and we're in the fall season on the daily. As long as it hits, the weekly target on this, we can go for this short, even though the bias is still long. It's a counter trend trade. Aussie dollar, Aussie dollar, US dollar, same thing. We can, once activated, it hasn't been activated yet, we move our stop to the bottom of the Heikinashi. We're in the spring season and Heikinashi is in the long. We're in the summer season. Hain dollar, Swiss franc, we're in the spring season. Bias is long. Risk to reward is still not good yet for this particular currency pair on the Canadian dollar, Swiss franc. As soon as there is some candle risk to reward, Award between that and the Z3, then we'll consider it. Canadian dollar, Japanese yen, same thing. Risk to reward, not yet. We got to get some distance between the Z3 and the weekly high. Once we do that, then we can consider going long. This is Frank Japanese yen. We move the buy. This is against the season. However, the winner is up. The Heikinashi here up. So our judgment call is that the bias is long. We place the long order here. The high of this Heikinashi with a risk to reward at the Z3. We're in the summer season. Your Aussie dollar. We're in this trade. Move the stop down to the top of the Heikinashi in the short. Bias is short. Momentum short. Our season is in the fall with this direction. We'll have a second position here, potentially, if there is some distance between the Z3 and the weekly low. We're in the winter season. Euro Canadian dollar. We're entering the spring on the daily. It's a lot of chop with this particular currency. But what we're seeing here is a squeeze. If you look at the, at the Z3 for both the long and the short, this is an incredible squeeze. You get the 200 in there it'll be a super 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 pinch if this thing's ready to pop in some direction we don't know where it's getting ready to go though a lot of momentum being built up the euro canadian dollar <clears throat> goes to frank momentum in the long Heikinashi's up we're in the spring in place a long order at the height of this Heikinashi. with this wrist reward be good one-to-one -one wrist reward we're in the summer season you know japanese yen we're in the spring season we're in the long bias we place a long order at the height of this Heikinashi. Short, so we should have a good. Yep, should have a good risk to reward there. At least one to one. The Euro Japanese yen. We're in the summer season. Here in New Zealand dollar. We're in this trade. Place the stop at the height of the Heikinashi with the target the Z3. We're in the winter season. Here U.S. dollar. We're in the spring season. Long bias. Place along here the height of this Heikinashi. Good risk to reward on the Euro USD. We're in the summer season. <coughs> Zealand. Canadian dollar, we're in the spring. Heikinashi is in the long. Not yet enough distance to make good risk to reward on the Zealand Canadian dollar between the Z3 and the Heikinashi. We get a little bit more distance before we do that for long. Zealand was frank. We get a little bit more distance before we get enough risk to reward on that between the Z3 and the height of this candle. We're in the spring. Bias is long. We're in the summer season on the daily. Zealand Japanese yen, same thing. Spring, bias is long. Heikinashi is also long. We're in this trade. Got my stop at below 
below this high Kanashi. We're in the summer season. See on the U.S. dollar, same thing. I'm in this trade. Stop is at below the high Kanashi. We're in the spring. Momentum for the high Kanashi is long. We're in the summer season on the daily. U.S. dollar, Canadian dollar. We're in this trade. I have a stop at the high of this high Kanashi, which is right at 200, the belly of the dragon, with our target at the Z3. We're in the winter season on the daily. U.S. dollar, Swiss franc, no trade to the long or short. We're at the Z3 for the short. Not enough distance on there. We have a bias. We're in the spring. Even though we're in the spring, our bias is on the high Kanashi is to the short side. It's a little choppy, wicky. We'll wait till there's actual trend formation on U.S. dollar, Swiss franc. But it looks like, looks like not too many folks are trading this particular pair. We'll wait for a trend before we trade it. We're in the winter season on the daily. U.S. dollar, Japanese yen. We're in the spring. Bias is long. High Kanashi is long. We don't have a good wrist award on long yet between this candle, the height of this candle, and this candle. We need at least that one-to-one with the Z3 on the other side before we can go long. So we can start tracking potential long here. But until we get more spread between the bottom of this high Kanashi and the Z3, we won't make a long trade on this yet, even though the bias is to the upside. The risk reward is, is not favorable at this point. Well, folks, that's all I have for the speed run in the 21 Forex currencies. We are currently conducting a Forex boot camp and a Forex intermediate course. If you're interested, click on the link below. And remember, ruthless risk management. Happy trading, everyone. Well, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button below and the subscribe button. And if you want more information on TC2000, I have an affiliate link below. If you open up a TC2000 account, you will receive a $25 discount using that link. Thank you for your time.